Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Edogs82, and we're going to play some more Call of Warhammer, aka Rage of the Dark Gods, beta version 1.6. So, I know it's been a while since I posted a video on this, <coughs> and that's because I've been sick. And I didn't think you guys would appreciate not being able to understand my commentary while I was sick. So I refrained from playing this, and I literally have not even played this in my personal time, so we'll see how rusty I've gotten. <laughs> Let's go. Chaos Dwarves, here we come. <clears throat> Your skin parts like silk. Ooh. Nasty Jurachi Witch or Dark Elf Witch. See what we can do. <clears throat> if I remember, we were fighting the Tomb Kings and uh, rebels, right? Yeah, we're fighting the Tomb Kings. Yeah, we're at war with them. Looks like they've got a crap ton of men coming my way, which is not good at all. I've got a decent force over here. It's not that bad. Neutral with the Night Goblins. We were allied with the Orcs, I remember. Our capital right here. We're doing some... Oh, the Skaven. Now that could be a big, big problem if the Skaven come after my booty. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to merge my units here. Make them stronger. Repair that castle, castle as quick as we can. Okay, we're building a, or, a big orcs range. We've got a hell cannon of chaos being constructed here in our capital. Down south in Gorgoth's Tower, we're building a in-depth development of hobgoblins. We've got two death rockets and a hobgoblin sneaky get being built all in the one turn lovely so we're actually making 15 um, gold which is incredible we're gonna have a huge treasury after this the thing that I'm worried about is those skaven I am neither your concern nor your subject they I have your concern nor your subject. some incredible units here, and if they go to war with me up in the north, I've got to not only deal with the Tomb Kings down south, but also this Skaven butthole down here. So all I can do right now is cross my fingers and hope for the best. Yep, our family tree. Three of them have died in battle. Thought we crashed just then. Well, lucky we didn't. Um, yeah, so... Cross my fingers, hope for the best. Get out of here. And um, hope that they don't come after us. Let's end the turn and see what happens. <laughs> the Vampire Counts are still playing with the Empire, fighting over Castle Drakenoff. Those orcs meant to be my allies, but they aren't doing anything to help me. The 
walls. <laughs> that turn went past with like nothing happening. <clears throat> okay, so the Vampire Counts of Sylvania are moving forces away from Castle Draconoth. Interesting. Oh, and they just regrouped and then brought a bigger army. I see. And now they're bringing even more men. Jeez, these guys have got an endless supply. They're pushing back all those Empire factions, which is really good for us, because if we can keep the Empire from getting strong, we can potentially push in to their lands and just steamroll them. Remember me in the great lands of war. <laughs> okay, the Tomb Kings of Camry are pulling back. Good. Skaven are going to march upon Dwarven lands yet again, as they have been doing pretty much all campaign. <laughs> Okay, that turn went off without an incident, surprisingly. Okay, it says we lost a bit of money. That's not cool. Alright, our castle was repaired. We got the new range for the orcs over there. Our merchant up in Karakulad was constructed. Excellent. Ooh, and the Grand Principalities and... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Lots of alliance breaking. Looks like the Empire is in disarray. Okay, so those Death Rockets are coming along quite nicely. Hmm. What do I want? I think what this army is lacking is mm, spears, definitely. We need more spearmen. So we'll recruit some spears. Did we finish our building? No, okay. Now uh, dwarven merchants are doing good stuff over there. I am neither your concern nor your subject. The Skaven army continues to hold outside our walls, which is really, really concerning. Let's get some dirt roads over here. Let's check our agent out. Ready to make a deal. Farik Bolt Wenger has no skill whatsoever. <laughs> Ready to make a deal. Good, then make a deal, dude. Where shall I move you? Hmm. Let's head him up towards the warp stone. Send him up there. Alright. What can we build over here? Hmm. What do we need? Don't necessarily need that. The Dogs of War camp would be nice. That would give us more blunderbusses and alabasts, more warriors. Yeah, let's go with the ancient hall of warriors. Okay, we're producing the Hell Cannon. That's all we need to do over there. And uh, 
basically, let's just hope for the best yet again. We're due to make a huge income. Let's just hope these bloody Skaven back the hell off. Because I don't want them coming after me here at Turret Vlog. Their army is quite intimidating and I don't like it sitting right there. Not one bit. Hmm. Now Avalyn is having a crack at the counts. The Empire could easily take Castle Dragon off at this point. Their forces are just diminished. I wonder why they don't push. show up and do something. Yep. The dwarves have made an appearance. They stepped outside of their camp for like two seconds. <laughs> and the vampire counts are on the march yet again. But they're moving forces away again. Such a strange strategy, but I guess it works. Because they come back with even more. Not that it's really mattering because they don't have the forces to defeat the Empire. But it's not stopping them trying. Hm. And back to the Tomb Kings. What are you guys going to do? Are you going to come after me or go after the Border Princes, I wonder? It appears that they're sending many forces towards the Border Princes. And the Skaven send even more men towards the Dwarven Stronghold. Interesting. Oh, the Skaven in North are starting to move away. That is good news. Get away from Karak Vlog. You're a menace. Hey, we got a gift of 200 gold crowns. Thank you, Council. You guys are most generous. Well, 2,000 crowns, not 200. <laughs> Awesome, we made a tidy profit. We've got a lot of money. Ooh, more breakings of alliances. Let's keep moving our merchant up towards the warp stone. I'm going, I'm going. Can't go any further today. Ah, oh, chill, bro. I can recruit quite a few men here. But I don't really need to. I can't recruit anything here for like five turns. Our roads are still going good. Um, let's move forces that are damaged back to our capital and retrain them. Break out the bookman's beer. Bookman's. That's part of the dwarves. We're the chaos dwarves, not the regular ones. How are things in Gorgos Tower? Oh, we nearly got the development of the hobgoblins going. Good, good, good. Nearly got the death rocket rocking. <laughs> okay. And we're going to make a huge profit again. 
suppose there are things that I could train here, but I don't really need to. Uh, nah, I'll leave it. Let's go to the next turn, everybody. Night goblins are moving through orc lands. <clears throat> it makes them think that's a good idea. Quite a few of them are moving through orc lands. Oh, and the orcs are bringing a force to crush these rebellious orcs. Nice. Yeah, the rebels are running for it, but the orc's like, nope, come back here, you're done. This is what you get, punk. <clears throat> and they're destroyed. Well done. You guys are good. Good job, my allies. You're proving yourselves to be true orcs. I wonder how the border princes are taking the invasion from the Tomb Kings. <laughs> oh, and the dwarves are fighting back against the Skaven. No more shall they cross their lands unopposed. Oh, this looks like Manfred von Karstein of the Vampire Counts, the leader. Will he do battle with the county of Averland? He sends one of his subordinates to do it instead. And the subordinate wins and continues to chase the army of Avalon out of here. And then he moves on to a different target. Well, looks like the counts are doing very good. Good management there, Manfred von Karstein. Oh, that's a big stack of undead warriors moving off. I'm liking my chances. I might send an army of my own towards the Camry Ruins. Because if we can take the Camry Ruin, we will be flush with cash like never before. It's a very wealthy province. <laughs> Skaven are trying to go around circle around with such a small force is not a good idea. The orcs will just beat you back. Dumb Skaven. Back to my turn now, huh? Pain is our payment. Jump back inside. Let's retrain all of you fellas. Hall of Warriors is nearly done. Awesome. <clears throat> the 27th militarily, the Skaven are the best. No surprise there. Fourth, financially, just still the Tomb Kings are the richest. So taking their lands is obviously going to make me the richest. And we're sixth in production, seventh in population, and then 24 overall. Alright, we've got Dirt Roads and Carrot Blag and an in development, in depth development of Hobgoblins in Gorgoth's Tower. Gorgoth's Tower's recruited the Death Rockets. Perfect. Ooh, those Empire factions are now at war with the Vampire Ready counts. to make a deal. I'm going, I'm going. Can't go any further We're today. We're just moving him up. Alright, we've got a full stack over here now. Excellent. Let's garrison this place with some more men. Why 
why not get ourselves an Earthshaker cannon? Shall we build now? Hmm. Thinking of barracks would be really good, actually. Yeah, let's get a barracks here in Gorgos Tower. And let's select everyone and move on out. I'll get going straight away. I'll keep appealed. Alrighty. So we've got a large force of warriors to come combat Leave them. This land, infidel, or I shall remove you. <laughs> Just try it, Tomb Kings. Give me Rawati, infidel. They have a huge amount of skeleton warriors, but I'm confident in my ability to beat them. My men are better. All right, time to build something up here in Karkvlad. Hmm. Warriors Hall, why not? Yeah. And that's all we can do over here for right now. Ready to make a deal. Alright, let's keep on moving. Alright. Actually, yeah, we're gonna save real quick because I just remembered how unstable this mod is. <laughs> we'll not have to go back through all of that again. Man, the Empire factions are really pushing hard against Sylvania and in Castle Dragonoff. They really want that place badly. It's one hell of a stronghold too. Lucky I haven't come up against any of the um, chaos forces in the north. Don't suppose I will have to fight them because we're meant to be on the same side, but always got to be prepared. Oh, look at this. The Tomb Kings are coming for it. They see us and now they're challenging us. They must be confident in their ability to fight because they're bringing a lot of men towards us. All is surrounding us. Clever. I think this is the first time I've managed to have a full stack be able to come up against the Tomb Kings. And they're bringing even more men. Ooh, the Skaven are beaten back. All right then. So we've suffered a little bit financially because of that enormous army that we've just pulled out of Gorgos Tower and had to do all this retraining business and other stuff. Yeah. This is all getting Ready quite interesting, team. actually. I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, 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 buddy. Keep moving. I'm going any further today. I 
could bring up reinforcements. My king, Jalar, my sultan wishes you dead. <laughs> we'll tell your sultan to suck it. Alrighty. Let's recruit some cow dwarf alabasts, hobgoblin sneaky gits, and some hobgoblins. Okay, so we are quite the Sultan will be most well surrounded by quite the incredible army. Not led by their king, interestingly. I will not waste words on you, Infidel. Hmm, where is the king? I don't see him. He must have gone towards the border princes. But anyways, guys, what are you waiting for? When we come back, we'll be having a massive, massive couple of battles here with the Tomb Kings. Hopefully, we will win. If not, we'll be back on the defensive. I hope not. <laughs> Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and my name is Edogs82. Guess we'll, I'll see you next time. Alright everybody, this is Edogs82 signing out. See you later.